I'm here with John Ferguson, one of the pilots of the B-25. What's all going on here? There's a crowd. Yeah, we have the airplane out here today at uh, Los Alamitos Army Airfield, Joint uh, Forces Training Center, and it's on display to the public uh, for everybody to come and see and enjoy. And I understand some of the veterans are getting a ride. They are. We've had several veterans that have flown in the aircraft uh, here and, and throughout the years. And what has been their response to getting into the plane after well, all these years? Yeah, it's, it's a pretty amazing thing because they uh, a lot of them haven't flown in the airplane since World War II. Uh, some of them may have been shot down in the airplane during the war. A lot of terrifying experiences, of course, when they're out, uh, you know, saving the world for all of us to, that we have today. And uh, so it's very emotional for them, uh, especially if it's been that long. They get very teary-eyed and emotional about the entire experience. And it's very moving to actually be in the aircraft and see their reaction. It's, it's really phenomenal. and it's, it's an incredible thing to be a, a part of. Who is maintaining the plane? Well, the American Aeronautical Foundation owns and operates and maintains the aircraft. And uh, we fly it around the country to various events. Can you show us some of the features? Absolutely, I'd be happy to. Okay, this is the nose of the uh, B-25 aircraft. As you can see, it's bristling with armament. Had uh, four uh, forward firing 50 caliber machine guns, as well as two up here in the nose, the one flex gun. Uh, variants also had a 75 uh, millimeter cannon in the nose. The bomb bay, as you can see here, held about 4,000 pounds of bombs, typically uh, four to six 500 pounders. And uh, this is the pilot's uh, compartment up here in the flight deck. The aircraft is powered by two reliable uh, Pratt Wright uh, Cyclone R2600 uh, engines. And it's capable of about uh, 340 miles an hour as its maximum limitation. Uh, typically, it would cruise at about uh, 200 miles an hour and had a range of about uh, 1,200 nautical miles. Here we are at the uh, aft section of the, uh, the B-25 Mitchell bomber. Uh, you can see the top turret, which protected the, uh, the top of the aircraft uh, from threats coming about. Our top hatch would display our flags to honor the, uh, the veterans that made it possible for us to be here and have the freedoms that we have. Uh, and then this is the waste compartment. We had a waste gun on each side, and the radio operator was inside there. He would uh, man both of these guns and as well as operate the uh, main radio in the back of the aircraft. The rear entrance of the aircraft was right here, where you see we have uh, folks touring the back of the airplane. And uh, this moves back to the tail compartment where the uh, tail gunner was actually uh, stationed uh, for the duration of a mission and to protect the uh, aircraft from uh, threats coming from the rear. And this is the, uh, the tail area of the B-25 bomber. Uh, this is actually where the tail gunner was stationed and his job was to protect the obviously the rear of the aircraft from any threat, enemy fighters that would be uh, coming into a very vulnerable part of the aircraft. Uh, it was not a happy place to be in the airplane because that was the highest loss rate in the airplane as well but it was an important position for the airplane to be protected from. Uh, he did have an area on the ground where he could get out from the, the top hatch there if he had to, if the airplane was uh, ditched or went in on its belly. Uh, but if he had to bail out, he had to go from here all the way to this hatch over here to bail out. And that was a long crawl if it under fire and if the airplane was going down. Uh, but overall, the aircraft had a very, very good combat record. Uh, it was used heavily in the Pacific as well as uh, North Africa and Italy and it uh, was very successful in, in those theaters of operation. The British also operated the aircraft uh, out of England and in Europe. 